Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video I'll explain you what is a motor driver and how to choose a good motor driver. So a motor driver is a breakout board which consists of a motor driver IC. I am using a motor driver breakout board which consists of an L293D IC. A motor driver circuit board is used for running the motors. It is like a current amplifier and the main purpose of the motor driver is to take a low current signal and convert it to high current signal so that it can run the motors. The reason why we require a motor driver is because components like motors cannot be connected directly to the Arduino as they do not get sufficient power from the Arduino. So we basically connect the motors to the motor driver first and then supply power to the motors using a battery through the motor driver. Now since I've taken many workshops on embedded systems and robotics, here are three of the motor drivers that I have used. All the three breakout board uses an L293D IC which is a motor driver IC. The L293D IC is a 16 pin IC out of which 4 pins are input pins and 4 pins are output pins. Pin number 2, 7, 10 and 15 are input pins and pin number 3, 6, 11 and 14 are output pins. You can also see it consists of 4 ground pins that is pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13. Pin number 1 and 9 from this IC is called as enable pin which requires 5 volts of power for operation. Pin number 16 which we can call as VCC pin also requires 5 volts of supply. And at pin number 8 we need to give external power between 5 to 12 volts. That is we need to provide external power using a battery or an adapter. Now since we are using this motor driver circuit to control a robot, we will require a battery instead of an adapter. Now if you are using just a motor driver IC, then you have to do all the connections by yourself on the breadboard first and then connect the entire circuit to the Arduino. So instead of doing the entire connections by yourself on a breadboard, it is better that you purchase a motor driver breakout board. As the motor driver breakout board consists of sockets in which we have to connect the input wires from the Arduino, the output wires from the motors and it also consists of a power supply socket where we can directly give power from the battery. Now guys as you can see in front of the screen there are three motor driver breakout boards and in all the three motor driver breakouts you can see that there are pins or sockets to connect the input pins from the Arduino and there are output sockets to connect the DC motors. There is also a power socket where you can connect the external battery. So out of the three breakout boards which are present, I'll first explain you the breakout board which is there on the left hand side. Now if you look at the first motor driver, then it consists of three green sockets, two at the bottom and one at the top. It also consists of four data pins on the top left side. The input pins of the L293D motor driver IC that is pin number 2, 7, 10 and 15 can be accessed from the top left side over here at A1, A2, B1 and B2. To these pins we will provide inputs from the Arduino's data pins. The two green sockets at the bottom are for connection to the DC motors. So the output pins of the motor driver IC that is pin number 3, 6, 11 and 14 can be accessed from these green sockets. Each socket consists of two holes in which we have to insert the DC motor wires. And you can also see the green socket which is present on the right hand side is used to supply external power to the motor driver using a battery. Now if we look closely then there are two more pins for VCC and ground. So at the VCC pin we had to provide a supply of 5 volts from the Arduino. That is I had to supply power from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to this VCC pin. And I also had to connect one ground pin to the ground pin of the motor driver. So guys the disadvantage that I found of using this motor driver is that I also had to give 5 volts of supply from my Arduino to the VCC pin of this motor driver. Now if we look at the second motor driver over here then it consists of 5 green sockets. The input pins of the L293D IC are connected to the top green sockets which are labeled as M1 in and M2 in. So at M1 in and M2 in I had to connect the inputs from the Arduino. The output pins of the motor driver are connected to the bottom green sockets over here which are labeled as M1 out and M2 out. So to these sockets I have to connect the DC motors. You can also see that there is one more green socket on the right side and to this green socket I had to give external power using a battery. 
The advantage that I found of using this motor driver is that I did not have to give 5 volts of supply separately to this motor driver breakout from my Arduino because the circuitry of this breakout board is made in such a way that the VCC and the enable pins get the required 5 volts from the external battery itself. So in short, the motor driver basically converts the incoming supply from the battery and give 5 volts of power to the pins that requires 5 volts. And if you look at the last motor driver, then this motor driver is more advanced than the other two motor drivers. It consists of D1, D2, D3 and D4 pins which are connected to the input pins of the L293D IC. And as you guys would have guessed, these pins will be connected to the Arduino's data pins. The DC motors will be connected to the green sockets which are labeled as M1, M2, M3 and M4. And I had to connect a battery to the DC jack connector for providing power. The breakout board also consists of an on off switch using which I can switch on and switch off this board. Now like the previous motor driver, I also did not have to give separate 5 volts of supply to this breakout board as well. So guys, when you purchase a motor driver breakout board, please check its specifications and also verify whether you need to provide 5 volts of supply from your Arduino or not. That's it from this video. I hope from this video you would have understood what is a motor driver and how you can choose a good motor driver.